Hey watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And do I get excited when I have new inventory on a brand new release? You sure bet I do. Today I have for us the Tag Heuer. This is the uh, the new Carrera Chronograph Extreme Sport. Very similar to the prior skeleton uh, dial models uh, from the coll prior collections. Um, but uh, again, new models, just in inventory and certainly wanted to share them with you. We're measuring these at a 44 millimeter case. So again, it's above the crown, diagonally across this grade two titanium case, even 44 millimeters across the brushed ceramic uh, tachometer scale or tachometer bezel. You're looking at 43.3. And then on the crystal, just under 35 at 34.99 from three to nine on that sapphire crystal. 15.3 millimeters thick. 49.6 lug tip to lug tip. However, you can see that rubber strap does protrude out a little bit. It's not a direct uh, fit. So again, I, I kind of just bent the strap there to give you an idea there. The widest point of that strap I measured at 53.3. However, look how far down it is. That really is around the side of your wrist. So I do not find that to be uh, an issue on wearing. Uh, 22 millimeter lug width. That tapers to... Uh, 20 millimeters at the deployant clasp. Again, you have a PVD treated titanium clasp. On this model, titanium on the, uh, I'll get to that in a second. They call it orange. I see it more as a red, maybe red orange. And we'll, we'll look at that more closely at that model in a second. Exhibition case back on both of these. That is the Tag Heuer TH20-00 movement. You're gonna get 80 hours of power reserve. You have a signed non-screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance, and I weighed them at 117.5 grams. So again, very light for the size. You're again, titanium case, you would expect that. Uh, $8,400 for the all black model here. Again, you have the PVD treated um, crown and uh, buckle. And $8,200 on the uh, Tag Heuer is listing this as orange. It's, it's more of an orange red in person. I would call it red, but there's definitely a hint of orange to it. So I don't want anyone to think it's going to be a bright orange. Um, it, it's more of that red orange color, which I think is very attractive. Look at the dials here uh, up close. Um, so on the black one, you can see very monochrome. You know, you have a darkened uh, date window there for the actual date, which I like. You can see it, uh, which the, the day of the week on that skeletonized dial. And I got to tell you guys, Skeleton dials are not for everybody. I personally love them when executed uh, correctly or at least done right aesthetically, in my opinion. And this one is. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this. I wish it was slightly smaller for my slender six and three quarter inch wrist. But I will tell you, I think the black model on wrist wears smaller uh, than this orange model or red orange model. Um, but uh, I'll throw them both on here shortly. Again, you can see on this model, your uh, 30 minute counter, your 12 hour counter, you have the uh, the same color coordination on those hands so you can see those. Uh, and again, a blacked out uh, date wheel or window there so you can see that date a little bit more uh, legible for you. So again, I, I think these are great. I would love to see these if they could get that Hoyer movement into a 40, maybe a 41. Uh, the other thing I will say is I don't have the older 40, I think it was a 42 and a 45 they did these in previously. Um, those models wore much larger on my wrist. And again, I'd have to go back and look for a video to see if I have measurements on those. So I feel like they maybe shortened the lug to lug. They, they definitely are more wearable. The, the titanium I think helps as well from memory. Those were steel models. And so I will say these feel much more wearable. Uh, again, that lug to lug under 50, uh, I think this black model, just the, the all black, is a little bit slender when I pull it, you know, tight where I would wear it. I think I could pull this off. I actually do, and uh, it's light. Love the look of it. So I'm a fan. Uh, I, I tell you right now, I do enjoy these. Still would prefer one maybe slightly smaller, but again, I think Tag Heuer did a nice job on these. And again, I just feel like the color, uh, as soon as I get the blue one in or the two-tone, I'll certainly review those and share those with you. These are the first two that we've received and uh, certainly wanted to get them on video for you. So let me hit the lights for you real quick. I'll give you a loom shot of both of these.
So certainly you can see the hands well. A little bit of loom on those markers, not a whole lot. But uh, overall, I think uh, you're not buying a skeleton dial for the loom. So as always, greatly appreciate you viewing. If there's anything we can do for you, anything at all, our contact information is in the description. Let me know what you think of these new Tag Heuer Extreme Sport Carreras. We'll see you in the next video.